So let's say you want to study in the United States, but you also want to study in Spain, and you can't be in two places at the same time. So what do you do? All around the world, you can find campuses of American universities abroad, and that's exactly what we're going to check out today. We're going to St. Louis, yeah, not Missouri. We're going to St. Louis University, Madrid, not Missouri. SLU is actually the first American university to put a campus in Madrid, in Spain. And this gives you the benefits of living in an amazing city like Madrid with all the benefits of an American educational system, like the flexibility to choose your own classes. So I'm gonna show you the St. Louis University Madrid campus, talk to a few students there, and interview admissions to find out if the process is basically the same as it is for the US, or if it's a little different, and tell you what you need to know to get admitted. Now the SLU Madrid campus consists of three buildings and they're building a fourth one so it's going to be a pretty quick campus tour. These are basically historic homes that have been converted into a university and so it gives you a really cozy feeling on campus and they've got special facilities for a bunch of different kinds of majors including things like arts and music. So just because it's not that big doesn't mean you don't have big possibilities. But why would somebody do this? That's what I'm trying to figure out today. My name is Meg. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Kyla. I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, hi, I'm Ana Romay. I am from Caracas, from Venezuela. I am double majoring in political science and international studies. I'm Eduardo. I'm from Italy, major in business and a minor in computer science. I am a master's student here at SLU Madrid and I'm originally from California. I'm a sophomore um, and I'm a major in psychology with a double minor in modern languages and performing arts. How did you decide to come here? That's what I want to know first. I always had like many interests and I thought that an American education would be best, but I was like, they're all really expensive. I found uh, accidentally SLU Madrid online and it was like, okay, this is an American university that would give me the American system, but it's in Spain, the best of both worlds. Uh, I always had the dream to go in, in uh, American college. I studied abroad in Madrid um, not through SLU, but like through my university. Like I knew I wanted to go to grad school, but I just didn't really feel like I wanted to after having been online for like a year and a half. And I was here like last year teaching English. I found out about SLU Madrid because I didn't even know that SLU Madrid existed. The school that I went to in Philadelphia, it was an immersion school. So I've actually been speaking Spanish since I was five years old because of it. And then one year someone came from Madrid and um, once I got to high school I started asking her more questions about Spain because I knew that I wasn't sure where I wanted to go to college but I knew I wanted to go as far as I could and she told me about it and it seemed great um, and then one day my mom just looked at a map of Madrid she saw St. Louis she was like that's a place in the States we looked into it and it was a school it was American school here so that's how I ended up here so when you study in a campus abroad, you usually have a more limited selection of courses and majors that you can't complete. 
But, you know, if the classes that you see abroad fit in with your major back home, then you can ask to do a semester or even a full year abroad, or even more in some cases. You could actually finish your degree in another country. Heidi's going to tell us a little bit more about the programs that are offered here and how they differ from what you find at SLU in Missouri. And you're going to get an idea of maybe how much time you could spend here in Madrid or maybe even just study your whole degree here if they have a program that you're interested in. Hello, I'm Heidi Buffington. I'm the Director of Admissions at St. Louis University's Madrid, Spain campus. Our campus has been growing a lot in the past couple of years, and we have 17 programs that students can do all four years here. Probably the most popular would be international business, marketing, um, computer science uh, as well, political science, science programs like mechanical engineering that we're starting up in the fall, fall of 23. But you can also start one of the many programs that St. Louis has. Many of these are, are kind of like two plus two programs, so you could start um, electrical engineering or biology or chemistry the first two years and then finish the last two years in St. Louis. This campus has a great feel, it's a community, it's close-knit, and even an American student here is international, or so everyone has kind of a different unique story, so people come from everywhere. I think yeah. you talked to some of the students. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what do you like about it here? Um, so I think Madrid is just a city that offers you anything, like for example, I like art, and so I can go to museums every weekend. I like hanging out with my friends. There are so many things to do, uh, so many places to explore. What I like from Madrid in particular in Spain is that there is always something to do. Clubs are always open. There are so many clubs, there are so many bars and rooftop places where you can go with your friends. It's, it lasts for all night. Oh, Madrid, I love Madrid. Before I got here, I only had met two like Arab people. My best friend sitting over there, she giggled, she's Arab. And I have a lot of Arab friends here, so I've been learning a lot. And so that's something that I really like, is I'm able to expand my world. And luckily Madrid is the kind of city that will allow you to do that, because there's so many people from so many places and everyone's just super friendly. Madrid is a city that's so accessible to like young people and it's way less expensive. <laughs> I think they've really mastered like the work-life balance. You know, being able to like slow down, enjoy life. I feel like when I go home to the United States, I have reverse culture shock. Why is everyone like running all over the place? Or like for example, when you meet Americans and the first thing they ask you is what do you do for work? What would they ask you first here? Where, Honestly, where probably, some, like, what's the small talk? How does it start? <laughs> probably like, where are you from? Okay. Like, where are you from? Where do you live? Do you like Spain? Like, or what do you like about Spain? Because they like to talk to like foreigners. Obviously, you know, you have a university in another country and like there's adjustment problems, you know, like it's a completely different culture. Uh, St. Louis Madrid has a partnership with a bilingual therapy institute. The university is really big on financial aid, like a lot of our students. And our tuition is about 23,000 um, euros per year. Any student is eligible for a merit scholarship and they go from about a 7% tuition reduction up to about a 40%. We also have full tuition scholarships, so we're looking for kind of exceptional leaders. We do a lot of giving back to the community, community service, and we're kind of looking for students who kind of embrace that spirit of wanting to do a little bit more and kind of give back to, to the world around them. So that's a full tuition scholarship. We even have a scholarship if you want to see what it's like in Missouri for one semester. You can find us on all the socials. Uh, reach out on you know Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all of those things. And you can always email us, call us. I really think this is a great university for you. If you want that American style of education, you want that freedom that characterizes American education, then that's where you want to go. Like, no other Spanish university is going to give you the chance to really just make whatever kind of program you want. And that's something you can get at SLU. Big shout out to Heidi for taking her time to talk to me. And a big thank you to all of you guys watching this video. Seriously, it was kind of a last minute visit at SLU, but I'm really glad it worked out. So thank you so much to everybody there at SLU Madrid. Hopefully you can check it out too. Go to slu.es or hit us up at prepwithscore.com if you need some help figuring out how to apply.